Okay, so one of the first things you want to do when you get your topping D90 is you want to change a few settings to get maximum performance. By default, when you get this unit, it will be set in pre-amp mode. All this means is it has a digital volume control on the DAC, which means you can adjust the volume using the up and down arrows on the right-hand side um, dig digitally, which is not ideal um, for maximum performance. What you want to do is you want to disable this preamp mode and put the, put the D90 in what is called pure DAC mode. Another thing you want to do is if you're not using Bluetooth, you don't ever plan on using it, you want to permanently, well not permanently, but you want to go into the settings and fully disable it. Turning this chip off will also maximize performance of the unit and potentially lower power consumption. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I've already set my device. That's why it will show up as in DAC mode. It says DAC. But if yours has not been configured um, for these settings, it's going to show um, a volume, um, the current volume, which will probably be 0.00, 0, 0, 0 or something like that. So I need to factory reset this unit back to its defaults. OK, so how you get into this, into this menu, it looks like the only way to do it is you have to flip the switch on the back to off. And then when you flip the switch on, you have to hold down the power button. You have to hold it down at the same time. Just keep holding in on it as you flip the switch in the back. Okay, so what I did was I flipped the switch off and then I held down this button and flipped it on. And as you can see, we are in the specialized menu. So to toggle things, to go up and down the menu, you use the volume control knobs. So the first setting is auto. What this is, um, according to the manual, give me a second, is it's an auto power on and off setting. So this, I believe it turns the unit off um, after a certain amount of time. It doesn't have a signal. Um, you want to have this set to off, which um, I have set it to off. By default, I believe it is on, but just you want to set it to off. So to change the actual setting, you use this over here, the select button. You just press it to, to, to toggle. So by default, it will say on. I set it to off. Okay. But let me actually reset factory reset this because um, there we go. So let me show you what it will look like when you boot it up. Okay, so this is what it will look like when you first get the unit. You'll see it has the 0, 0, 0, 0.0 dB, right? So this right here, see if I use the, 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 the um, up and down buttons, this controls the digital volume. And obviously, for maximum performance, you want it on 0, 0. But actually, there's still performance being left on the table. To get actual best performance, you want to put this in pure DAC mode. Um, so I factory reset it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. You have to press and hold to turn it off. So I'm going to do that the um, thing on the back to where you switch it, and you hold down at the same time when you switch it back on. Okay, so now we're back into the specialized menu. You see it has auto is on. This is the auto timeout um, feature where it turns off the unit after X amount, of, X amount of minutes. I think it's 30 minutes. But um, you want to have that turned off. So to turn that off, we're just going to hit, we're just going to press the select button over here, and now it's off. You also have display. Um, I believe that's the brightness. So if you toggle through it, um, that can adjust how bright the display is. I recommend keeping that on low. Next, you have the line out, ma line out mode. This is important. You want to switch this over to DAC instead of pre. Next, you have the line out mode. Now, you can change this um, without having to go into this, this specialized menu every time. So if you're switching between, say, your headphone amp and maybe your regular amplifier, you don't have to come in this special um, menu to get that. Um, I recommend keeping this to whatever is your primary device. So I'm going to just change it to RCA. I'm going to go down. Bluetooth. This is the, if you, if you don't use Bluetooth at all, you're going to turn that the Bluetooth receiver off. Um, the PCM filter, I recommend keeping it on mode three. DSD filter, keeping default. 
IS phase standard. Um, IS DS, DSDR, keep it its default. And then now you're going to go down to number 11 where it says save and exit. And then you're just going to press this button one time. And now it's saved it. And when you restart, you should notice that it, it will be in pure DAC mode. Notice how it now shows DAC. It doesn't show the um, volume anymore. And if I press up and down these buttons on the side here, they don't do anything, which is good. And notice how it says Bluetooth off because Bluetooth has been turned off. So I can now switch through the different um, options and we're good to go. So that is how you get the best um, performance. You want to make sure you put it in pure DAC mode and you want to make sure you turn off Bluetooth completely if you're not using it. You want to turn off the auto timer and um, you want to um, have it um, output to whatever source you are currently using. You don't want to keep it on um, RCA and XLR because if you keep it on both, um, you're leaving a little bit of performance on the table by outputting to both outputs at once. So whatever output you're outputting to, whether it's you're outputting via XLR to a headphone amp or RCA to an amplifier, um, you just want to have it on just that source. So, um, and you can actually change this within the remote by pressing the center button. And notice you can cycle through. So if I was using my headphone amp, I would switch this to XLR. See how it says a AES to XLR? If I was using my um, main amplifier, I'd switch it to RCA. So you want that to be on just the one that you are using. So I'm gonna go ahead and power off the unit with my remote. And that is how you get optimal um, performance.